Jersey, all smiles now, you got the win, but not the performance you would have wanted, is it? No, no I mean, I don't know, it's, I just couldn't get going, it was flat and one of, one of those games, but I'll put this one behind me, a win's better than a loss, I suppose, and you know, I can't do anything about it now, so all I can do is just look forward and you know, look forward to my next game. Very flat start from you. You started getting more vocal, more aggressive. You actually you started producing better darts along with that, but then it just tailed off again. Yeah, so I, when I'm hitting scores that, 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 I, that I can get myself going, but when I'm hitting 26s and 58s, and just doesn't happen. But yeah, I knew Jamie wasn't playing well. I know he was playing better than what he is the last you know, couple of months, and that's probably what put me off. Even though he wasn't playing well, he was hitting trebles, and I was like, yeah, it just always happens to me. But yeah, I shouldn't shouldn't start thinking that. I just concentrate on my own game. I try to, but it's hard. You had a great run at the William O World Championship last year, so you know you can play on this stage. But there is is there a different kind of pressure coming into this tournament with it being the biggest? No, I just think it's a different kind of atmosphere. There's, there's, there's dead out there. It's like you know when, when we played in in the home tour, it's like playing in my back kitchen. It's it's not good. But you know we have to deal with it, and it is what it is. And I tried to perform the best I can. Today wasn't very good, but I will be better next time. Once we've seen you perform behind closed doors. I mean, your Grand Prix win was was excellent. There's some great stuff there. So you you able to do it? Yeah, no, I know. I so I say I can't put my finger on it. Sometimes that's cool. Like that. you just can't can't hit a barn door with a shotgun. But you know, some other times I I can't miss. But that's the way it goes. And. You know, I'm lucky I come through that game. I, Jamie bust the 68, I took out a 72. Uh, and I give it large, but yeah, that sort of spurred me on in, in that last set. But I had a little bit of luck in that game, and sometimes that's what you need to win, not just games, but to win tournaments. Well, that was my next question. It was a similar thing with Willie O'Connor last year. We've seen players win the William O'World Championship when incidents like that have happened in deciding sets. Might yeah, well, names on the trophy. Look, look, you, you look at Rob Cross when, when Michael had numerous starts to beat him. He went on to beat Phil Taylor in the final. It, you know, we can all I say the ifs, much bad, but some maybes. But you know, J Jamie busted his score. I took out shots. Michael missed his doubles. Rob Cross took him out. Went on to be world champion. So you know, the only way is up now for me, and hopefully, I can perform a lot better. You come into this year's tournament having won more titles than anyone else. You're the second favourite for it. How does it feel compared to previous years heading to? Yeah, but it just feels different because of the circumstances, because of the COVID, because of no crowd. And like I said, it just feels like I'm playing in my kitchen and I just can't get going. But for other people, they, they love that. That's, that's the sort of atmosphere they feed off. But yeah, it's not for me. Well, having said that, if you're stood here on January 3rd with half a million pounds, Sibridale Trophy and your world number one, which would happen, then all of that fades away, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd be happy. But at the back of my mind as well, it'd be like, uh, you've just won an home tour. That, that's, that's the way it is. That's the way I think. You know, the, this tour, it doesn't matter if it's the Worlds, the Grand Prix, the, the Grand Slam. They're all the same when it's like this. So it doesn't really matter. But I'll take the 500,000. I'll take the world number one. But yeah, it just doesn't feel right. See so if you say that on January 3rd. Well, I'll be smiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gezi, just touching on that. Obviously, build up for this. Is when you guys normally get into exhibitions galore and build up to this. Did you come into it slightly undercooked? Do you think? No, I came into it fresh because I needed I needed a rest. I needed two weeks off, and I and I haven't picked the dart up. For, well, say I haven't picked the dart up for two weeks. I've had 30 minutes in the evening for the last two weeks. I, I've played so much darts over the last couple of weeks. I just thought that I, I I didn't have to practice. I needed time off. I needed time away. And I don't know. Maybe now over the next four or five days, I'll put. A bit more effort in on the board because that wasn't good enough. But luckily, I, I won and didn't come back and bite me. But you know, I've got four, five, six days at home whenever I'm playing. But I will practice a lot more this week. Talking about going home, is that a risk for you with everything that's going on? Yeah, it is a risk. But you know, I've got young girls. They only, they only young ones. They only grown up once. And to, to be quite frankly, they're more important to me than than this tournament. So yeah, I'd rather wake up Christmas Day with those then wake up on January 3rd with a trophy. So if I come back and I fail the test, then so be it. But I'll be home with my family. Obviously, looking at, at this, a lot of talk around the world number one spot, and you put on your Instagram, who'd have thought this 18 months ago. Is it a genuine thought now that you could get there? Well, it's a, well obviously, because it's, 
it is realistic and I think about it, I'm sure Peter thinks about it and he probably says he doesn't. You know, and, I'm, and I know for a fact that Michael is thinking that if he loses, he loses that top spot and he doesn't want to do it. So fair play to him for playing the way he did in his first game. He's, him and Kim Ibrex are probably the best two players in this tournament so far. And, and Ian White, who, who unfortunately has gone out. But yeah, I know there's a lot of pressure on Michael's shoulders to, to not lose that number one spot. You also said in the build-up you weren't fond of Peter Wright's Grinch. Outfit. Yeah, oh, he can. Peter does what he does. You know, is is a bit. I understand it. You know, if um, if there's crowd here and everything, but personally, I just think it puts people off. I think it put um, Steve West off a little bit. Last one for me on the crowd. I know you were happy that there was going to be a thousand in there. What was your reaction when you then found out that there wasn't going to be? It was going behind closed doors. Yes, it's, it's disappointing. You know, I was looking forward to playing, you know, in front of some sort of crowd. I think the only time we had crowd this year was in the World Series Finals and I won have won that, even though they were on my back. But I feed off that and I feed off the, the negativity and, and the booing and, and the atmosphere. But yeah, I was a bit gutted, really. Gazza, congratulations. Always, mate. Thank you very much. Just, Gazza, just touching on the number one situation that you mentioned then, do you think Michael's feeling the pressure in this tournament because of that? He's not playing like it, anyway, is he? No, <laughs> no, he, no he, he played really well and you know he's, he's had the pressure of number one for the last couple of years, so I don't think... It'll affect him, but it will be in the back of his head. And do I think he'll lose early in this tournament? No, I think he'll he'll get the final, and you know he, he, I think he'll have a good run. And, and I hope he does because uh, you know he's he's the sort of player I like to play, and uh, well, I hope I beat him in the final. And uh, last year, Peter Wright, he was second favourite going into the tournament, survived some match darts against Noel Malik. Then it's a similar situation for yourself against Jamie Lewis. Didn't have any match darts, but. You survived a scare. Do you think that's a, there's comparisons there? Yeah, I mean, any tournament, you know, even when I won my tour card, I had, I had darts against me to to knock me out and I would have had a challenge on, on the next few days, but people missed darts. I was lucky enough to go through and then yeah, a couple of years later, I'm here, so you need a little bit of luck, whether whether it's um, first round, second round or, or in semis or finals. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'd use nine lives, but I'd probably use about five or six. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very Cheers. much, Kizzy.